How do you there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where today we're going to have a look at a darts practice drill that is designed to improve your scoring. Now when we're looking at a drill, a practice drill rather than a training drill, we need to make sure that the practice has the purpose and the intensity in order to get the outcome. Now by that what I mean is we're not just going to stand aimlessly throwing at a target, we need to have a purpose but also a restrict of time aspect involved that is because in a game of darts you have that restriction that comes from your opponent first one to 501 wins and then you start again now what this game's designed to do is this game is designed to use the big power scoring segments the same scoring segments you'd use in a game of cricket the 20 through to the 15 but in a way that can grow and enhance as you go but also challenge and pressurise the darts you're going to get at the scoring segments. Because that's the difference. When you play a match, you throw at a treble 20 to try and score the points. And when you're practising and throwing at a board at home, you're just throwing at the target. So that's what we need to do. We need to emphasise those points. And how this drill works is your first dart will be thrown at the 25 or the bullseye. Now, if you hit a 25 or a bull, it means you can go and go onto the first section, so the 20s. I also hit the bullseye, which means I open up another number, which will be the 14. If you are to only hit the 25, which you'll see here I do with dart number 2, I get my dart at the scoring segment, the 19, and then I move on to the next number. The bonus of the ball opens up an extra segment. Hit the 25, then I can score on the 18s. 108 points scored there. Add that onto the total. I've now got 17, 16, 15, and 14 available. Unless I hit the ball, then I'll open up the 13s as well. 25 with the first start, now I can score on the 17s. 16s. And I hit the bullseye with the last dart. So that means I don't get the opportunity to score on the 16s now. I move on to the 15s because my chance on the 16s is gone. But because I hit the ball, I open up the 13s. I've hit the ball again. So again, I get to score on the 15s and I open up the 12s. So it's a double whammy. You hit the ball, you get to go on those power scores and try and rack up those points but you also open up more segments on the board. This is something you can play on your own or against a partner. And I guarantee when you're playing against someone, you get that bullseye and open up a few more segments. Things can get a little bit interesting. It's a game that's never over, which is the sort of drills that I like, those sort of drills that keep the emphasis and that time on the focus. Some people like their smart goals. That is what this is sort of based around. So again, quick recap of the key points. You start 20 to 15. If you get a 25 or a ball, you can score. If you don't, you move to the next segment and you knock the segments off as you go. So you only get one visit to the board at each one of those segments. If you get a bullseye, you get to score and open up more of the board. So you get to play the game for longer and rack up a higher score. Now, if this game's a little bit tricky for you, you can simplify this in other ways to get you going to begin with. One of the ways is just simply the 25 and the ball will put you onto the scoring segment. So you'll see here, 25, now I can score on the 20s. Now, I will stay scoring on the 20s until I miss a 20 segment. So you'll see here, 20, so I get to stay on there, stay on the 20s, and I just get to keep racking up that score until I lose that line and come off the 20s. This will happen all the way around the board as well. Now, obviously, if you're more an advanced player, you're not going to be coming off those 20 segments. But if you do come off the 20 segments, you get your last two darts at the 25 or the ball to put you back onto the 20s again. It's only when you miss your complete visit that you'll move to the next number. So again, now I get to just rack up the scores on those 20s until I either miss with the last dart or I don't get myself back on that segment on the bullseye. Just power score 
with that restriction just keeping the dart straight you see there the last dart has come off the 20 line so i now move off the 20s to the 19s and to get onto the 19s i need a 25 or a ball and now i can stay on the 19s until i come off of that line same rule again get back to the bullseye if you miss the 19s just run up those scores just trying to stay on that power scoring segment trying to keep those darts straight so i come off so i go back to the ball i get the 25 i go back i miss now i move on to the 18s so then now it's a 25 or a ball to the 18s ball will open me up the segment as with the full game so if i hit the bullseye i'm open up the 14s as well and i get to stay on that number so that's a little bit more simplified way of playing this if you're finding the main game a little bit tricky or a bit quick paced or you're just flying through it without putting scores on stay on that segment until you come off it another little adaption and keeps that intensity keeps you on that nice sort of power scoring track and also utilizing that bullseye as part of your practice drill i have got the scores which you'll see on the thumbnail and i've got a people of different standards to play this game and drill which is where I get those numbers from but let me know what you're scoring let me know where you pitch yourself what standard do you play your darts at and put your scores down in the comment section below let's see what people are scoring at this go give it a go let me know what you think and I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV, Edgar TV.